Hi, in this episode I'll talk about Boolean operations in Inkscape found under the path menu. Now these allow you to create some really interesting shapes very quickly and uh, some of them are pretty easy to understand but others like cut path for example can be a little confusing because in order to see better what's happening we need to have a stroke to the path and I'll get to that but first let's start with creating a union and before that of course we need to have some objects first thing I'll do is I'll create a rectangle like this then holding down the, uh, the control key I'll create a circle move it over here control D to duplicate the circle and move this one over here control A to select all three objects go to path and create a union and you see how this works Again, I'll create another circle here, position it over here, holding down the shift key, I'll select the other object, go to path and create a difference and see the effect here. Now the next thing I'll do is create a rectangle like this, holding down the shift key again, I'll select the other object, go to path and create an intersection and you see where the two objects intersect we have the remaining object and what uh, is outside the intersection gets cut out. Now the next thing I'll do is create another rectangle like this. Select this object again, go to path and create an exclusion. You see how this works. Again, I'll grab a circle, move it over here, shift select this object, go to path and create a division and you see the effect of that. Let's just click away first and you see how this works. Now in order to see the effect of cut path I need to apply some stroke here. Let's create a circle again and this time I change the color of the circle to yellow let's say. Click on the fill and stroke menu here. Go to stroke and stroke this circle. Also stroke style. I'll make this thicker like this and close this and I'll just duplicate this circle and move it over here and with the shift key I'll select this one go to path and cut path click away and now you can see how this boolean operation work so that's it for this tutorial and bye for now